Hey guys, I decided to do another tutorial today on uh, proper render settings, or at least my render settings, which usually give me a pretty good render. And uh, I'll be teaching you how to make the file smaller because it's gonna be a huge file if you only render it in After Effects, but I'll show you how to handbrake this open for that. So yeah, let's get started. First of all, I don't have any video on this, I just made a comp, you know, because I'm just showing you settings, not actual end result. So what you want to do is when you're open in the composition of which you want to render something or whatever, you go to export and then you add it to your render queue. And then from here, you want to go to render settings and you go to best settings. You want to change this to 29.97 because even if you recorded, or not recorded, if you edited this in 59 frames per second, you always want it to be 29 frames per seven, per seven, per second, because uh, that's only what YouTube uploads up. Uh, YouTube doesn't upload 59 frames per second, so you'll lose frames and it'll just, it won't look as good, but this is definitely the optimal thing to do. For that, you hit okay. You wanna go to output mode, which says lossless. You don't want AVI, because you're looking at like a 30 gigabyte file. You wanna go to H.264, click on that, you want to go to audio output, make sure you turn it on, and then for format options, you want to go to video and just blast the bitrate. You want 300 bitrate on both of them, just completely max it out. So this will give you really a uh, crisp edit. And then you just, you know, click on this to choose where you want to uh, output it to and you just name it, you know, and you just render it and click here to render. So once you've done that, you'll see that you get a pretty uh, big file. And then you just want to bring your file into here. So you'll go to source, and go to open file in your handbrake. And then you want to, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys an example. Let's say, hmm. Okay, this, this, this recent episode I did, this wise episode, if you look at the properties, this is uh, 417 megabytes, which is half a gigabyte. And if you're sending that to somebody, that's gonna be a long time to send. But if you notice here, it says HP, which stands for handbrake. I handbraked it, and without losing any quality, I turned it down to three, uh, 34 megabytes, not 340, 34 megabytes. So that's like 90% reduction, really simply, and that doesn't lose any quality. So uh, yeah, how to handbrake. So first thing you wanna do is put your file into handbrake, it'll scan it. And you wanna go to your destination first off. So you just set it to hand braked video, whatever, doesn't matter, save it. And then the first thing you do is you wanna make it web optimized, which will make it uh, easier to upload. If you don't do this, you'll see on YouTube, sometimes when you're uploading, it'll say processing. It'll say, uh, see if you can get your uh, streamable file or whatever, something like that. I don't really read. Anyway, so then the second thing you do is you go down to video and you use the advanced tab instead. You go to audio, you want to change your bit rate to 128. And then you just want to go to advanced and set reference frames to 4 and then B frames to 3. So that's good. And then all you have to do is just uh, click start and your file will be smaller without losing any quality and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So yeah, if you guys need any help with something or miss something, uh, just leave a comment or hit me up on Skype, it'll probably be in the description.